Bride, your full name? Erin Salati. And it, is Borum your, your maiden name? Correct. Okay. So Borum was your name, your last name in the <clears throat> 2014 to 2016 time frame, correct? That's correct. Have you communicated with anybody else from Mr. Depp's uh, counsel other than Ms. Vasquez? Uh, not that I recall. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. I, I do. Um, I don't remember his name. I'm so sorry. I feel like I spoke with him. I, I don't know his last name. Did, did you speak to or communicate with Adam Waldman? Perhaps. I don't recall his last name. Okay. And do you recall when that occurred? That would have been 2019 because I had I had a newborn at that time. So maybe May, June, July, something like that, 2019. So this is a text exchange between you and Mr. Waldman? It appears so. Okay. And do you recall speaking to Mr. Waldman at all? Yes. And do you recall that when you were uh, communicating with Mr. Waldman, Mr. Waldman was Mr. Depp's attorney? Yes. Ms. Vladi, you're a trained nurse, is that correct? That's correct. Do you have any specialties? Well, I haven't been working, you know, like I used to, but previously uh, I was trained in addictions and mental health. And when you say addictions, are there specific type of addictions you were trained in? All, well, but I primarily worked with chemical dependency. And where did you receive training for um, addiction and mental health? Different employment places. And then I uh, became a certified uh, registered uh, addiction nurse. You know who da Dr. David Kipper is, correct? Correct. Did you, did you work for Dr. Kipper? I, not directly, but he would hire the agency I provided nursing services for, which was Turning Point, I believe. So I worked under his guidance, but not specifically for him. Most of the time, there have been times where I've worked specifically for him. When did you start working for uh, Turning Point Nursing Services or whatever the name of that company was? I don't recall. My best guess would be somewhere between 2007 or eight. And when did you start to begin to do any work for Dr. Kipper? I believe 2014. What were the circumstances that started you working for Dr. Kipper in 2014? If I recall correctly, it would be for services for Ms. Heard. Were you ever responsible for Mr. Depp's nursing care while he was under the treatment of Dr. Kipper? I provided him with nursing care. So Ms. Filati, I'm showing you what's been marked as exhibit two to your deposition. And these are, you, these are AH, TPD, 16929 through 
16959. And, and is, is that the paper documents you have, a set of the paper documents you have in front of you? Part of it. The first page. And the first page might have said at the bottom also uh, K182? Yes, I have that. Okay. Do you recognize these as your, what, what are these? These are my nursing notes kept for Ms. Hurd. Yes. And, and these are notes you created? Yes. Did you create these notes in the ordinary course of business? Yes. Okay. Um, were you trained in how to prepare these notes? Yes. Would you write these, when, how long after you, the visit would you write up these notes? It would depend. Sometimes I would keep notes on my phone that I would transfer to the Word document when I, when I was in front of my laptop. And if not possible, I would do it as soon as feasible. And how often would you show these notes to Dr. Kipper? I don't recall at intervals, but I don't recall. Uh, um, so if you look at the first page of the notes, um the first the first entry is august 27th 2014 correct yes okay. and uh you wrote rn has been hired to provide private nursing care for client amber heard right correct okay. and rn refers to you correct uh and an RN means registered nurse, correct? Correct. Um, and throughout the notes, and you say this here, Amber Heard would be referred to as client or AH, correct? That's correct. All right. And, and Johnny Depp would be referred to as JD? That's correct. Would you agree that Mr. Depp and Amber would get into verbal arguments? You recall a general sense of discord in the relationship. What do you mean by general sense of discord? I just recall there being disagreements, reconciliation, and kind of that repeating pattern. And would you be at times taking care of Amber because of this, the disagreements between Mr. Depp and Amber? I provided emotional support. I was not present with her often, but it was available over the phone, via text, and sometimes in person. Do you recall uh, that in March 2015, uh, Amber went to Australia to be with Mr. Depp? Yes, I remember she went to Australia. As to the dates, I would have to look through documentation to ascertain the exact dates. Okay. And on exhibit two, this is your note of March 7th, 2015? That's correct. And you wrote a uh, client notifies RN via text of increasing anxiety. I wrote that. And then on 3815, you wrote RN received report from Debbie RN. Debbie being Debbie Lloyd, correct? That's correct. Do you re recall what the report you received was on March 8th, 2015 from Debbie? I mean, I'm just reading my notes. Sure. So 
to answer your question, no, I don't recall specifics of what the report would have been. I assume based on this note, that would have been a phone call. Okay. And it says client will be returning to Los Angeles on March 9th, 2015, accompanied by house manager Ben. Do you see that? Yeah. Did you have an understanding as to why Amber was leaving Australia in March of 2015? Yes. I don't know if this is the exact timing, but you know better than I, there was an incident in Australia and they had to be Ms. Heard and Mr. Depp had to be separated. Um, so Ms. Heard returned to Los Angeles for my, my nursing notes. And I believe Mr. Depp must have stayed in Australia. What was your understanding as to why Mr. Depp and Amber had to be separated? It's hard to recall specifics because I wasn't there or involved at the time, but became involved again. I remember hearing from other people that there was quite an argument between the two in Australia. Do you have any understanding if anyone was injured during um, the argument between the argument between Amber and Mr. Depp? Physically injured? Physically, yeah. Again, I wasn't present, so I'm only speaking as to what I recall during that time period and what I sort of remember hearing from others. And also, I just remember Mr. Depp's finger was injured. I can't tell you specifically which one, but I remember there was an injury to his finger. Do you have any understanding as to how his finger was injured? No. And then, um, Aaron, you wrote the next note on March 9th, 2015, that says uh, RN and CT in touch via text and phone calls after a client arrived at 1500. Yes, I wrote that. Okay. And 1500, you're using military time, correct? That's correct. So that would be 3 p.m.? Correct. Okay. And you wrote client expressed feeling, quote, sad, right? Yes, I wrote that. Do you recall what Amber was sad about at approximately March 9th, 2015? I can't speak to the, you know, I don't remember specifically, but I would assume based on my March 8th note, I would make the assumption that those feelings were in relation to the relationship issues. You wrote client states she would like to discuss recent events between her and husband with RN in private tomorrow. Plans are made for RN to visit client at her home tomorrow. Yes, I wrote that. Do you recall all the conversation you had with Amber regarding the events between her and Mr. Depp at this March, around this March 9th, 2015 timeframe? No, I don't recall specifics. Do you recall anything in general? I really don't, I'm sorry. Did, did, did Amber uh, uh, express any um, fear of Mr. Depp at this time? I don't recall, I don't, I don't see that in this note, so I, I can't speak to that. Um, and then the note for uh, March 10th, 2015, you see that note? I do. We can take this down. Put up attachment 25, please. Stand by. Thank you for the four.
Ms. Filati, I'm showing you a text chain between you and Whitney Hurd on March 23rd, 2015. Do you see that? Yes, I do. And on March uh, 23rd, 2015, you texted to Whitney Hurd, Debbie just told me what's going on and to check with you, is Amber awake or fall asleep? Do you see that? I do. And then Ms. Hurd wrote, she finally fell asleep. Do you see that? Yes. Okay. Then you wrote, thank goodness, she must I'm be sorry. exhausted. I'm okay. sorry, just to, just to confirm, this is, this is from Whitney Hurd, not Amber Hurd, correct? As, as I understand it, it says wit heard of it. Is that your understanding? I assume. Thank you. And then you, do you recall ever communicating with Whitney Hurd via text or chat? That sounds familiar. Okay. And you wrote, thank goodness, she must be exhausted. You want me to come to the loft or is she safe and sound asleep? You see that? I do see that. Okay. And then Whitney wrote safe question mark. No, she's not kept saying she wants to kill herself. You see that? See that? Were you ever concerned about Ms. Hurd's safety as it relates to Mr. Depp? So if she made comments to me that she was not safe, I would be concerned about her to ensure that she was safe. Yes. Do you recall Ms. Hurd making comments to you about her safety? I remember a general sense when they, meaning Ms. Hurd and Mr. Depp, would have arguments. She would often have her friends around her for support. But from a general, you know, physical sense, she was, she was always in a safe place. And you mean where you mean in a general physical sense, she was always in a safe place. What do you mean by that? Meaning she was always, not always, I should say often home, often surrounded with friends. She had friends that lived right down the hallway from her. So she was always supported. Was, was Mr. Depp friends with uh, Marilyn Manson? Yes, I believe. Ms. Filati, I'm showing you it's marked as Exhibit 7, and these are um, texts that Mr. Depp produced between you and him. Um, and I'm focusing on this text message of October 31st, 2015. You see that? Well, so this text message between you and Whitney is on March 23rd, 2015. You see that? I do. Okay. And if we go back to Exhibit 2, and I'll go back. Um, Um, there, there's no entry for M March 23rd, 2015. Yeah. You see that? Not everything you did for Ms. Hurd as a, as a nurse is reflected in these notes, correct? And the next notes we have are November 25th, 2015. Do you know why there's a long um, period where there's no notes? Yes. Perhaps I can shed some light for you and everyone on the relationship. Uh, when I was first hired to care for Ms. Hurd, I worked full time. You know, I was assigned 24 seven basically. And after a period of time, I became more part time and on call. Uh, and I was working with different clients at the time. So I would how to put it, I would not be working regularly, but would also be available if an issue arose or medication change needed or things like that. So I would assume that would account for this, this gap. Why did you move from um, full-time to part-time? I don't know the exact answer, but I, I assume 
that's not my decision to make. That's usually the client and or treating physician. Okay, so that's the first page of exhibit two. Yes, thank you. So if you can, um, can you go down to, it's about the third paragraph, a little bit, yes. Her report from JD, which refers to Mr. Depp, Debbie, RN, and Dr. Kipper, client AH, which is Ms. Heard, has reportedly been experiencing increased anxiety and agitation recently and has had several outbursts of anger and rage. From what I remember, when I was involved in the case, it was to help assist Ms. Heard with some emotional issues, anxiety issues, um, in, in attempts to assist, in layman's term, kind of calming things down a bit. Do you recall any um, examples that you knew of of anger and rage showed by Amber? I do recall her seeing her very angry. I have to refer to my notes. It was in London, so that would have been 2014. And I believe it was in reference to a violating incident where her phone had been hacked and she was quite upset. I saw her angry at that time and other times I don't recall. Were you in London with Amber at the time? Yes. And how was, how was Amber showing her anger? I recall loud, kind of elevated uh, voice, yelling, crying, uh, quite a bit. Do you recall receiving a call from Amber um, around December 16th, 2015 regarding this argument between Mr. Depp and Amber? I don't recall a specific phone call. Do you, would you doubt that a phone call occurred if, they, if you wrote it down in your notes? If I wrote it, I, I don't doubt that it occurred. I just don't have memory of it. 